speaker for uh, recognizing me to speak on this issue. Um, my name is Honorable Wagner Ego. I represent the good people of Award of Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker Amelegoshan. This issue that was raised by a colleague is a very important one. Casualization of workers. The result is that most companies now, especially foreign firms, all their workers are casual. You will have a worker who will work for six months, who will work for one year, who will work for even 10 years. He's doing so well, but you make it casual. All of it is just an attempt to over maximize profit. Regularly, we read the American Employment Index. Some months, about 200,000 people will be applied in the US, some about 300,000, some about 130,000. That way, we can know how the economy is growing. But here, because of casualization, you can never know the number of people that are employed. I'm aware that you know, casualization is a tool that management uses once in a while to address some short-term measures. But it should not be a permanent thing. What is happening in Nigeria today is that casualization is a permanent thing. All the banks, all the banks are very guilty of this. If you don't need the worker, why will you keep somebody for three, four, five years as a casual worker. If he's not doing well, why, why are you applying him? And I just say that what is happening is that in the banks, some top management staff of the banks who want to make money, we now employ people as casual. They will be paid the, the full salary the worker is supposed to earn. They put the balance in their pocket and pay the people pictures. That is also what is happening in the oil company. I think this man's inhumanity to man. And I think that this Green Shepherds are the only people who can correct uh, this oppression of our people. If you don't need a worker, don't apply. But to apply a worker and keep him for years as casual, at the end of the day, you throw him out, you don't pay him pension, he has no medical, he has no benefit in the company, I think it's wicked. And this is done by in an industry where there's so much profit, in an industry where so much money is being made. The top management staff, the, the directors, they smile, smile to the back. Whereas the people who are doing the work are left or rotting away as casual. I think this is very unfair. A situation where a man works in the bank or in a oil company or in the telecom industry, yet you cannot pay the school fees of your, of your children. You cannot feed your family, you cannot build a house. Meanwhile, the company is making billions of profit. I want to urge my colleagues to rally around. Let us, let us support the mover of this bill so that this casualization, you know, we stop in Nigeria. We cannot continue to have this kind of e-treatment. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.